The TradeMate Sports software works because our users place plus EV trades or plus expected value trades. In simple terms, that means they are getting better odds than they should get on a sports betting match. So if you take Manchester United versus Liverpool in a football game, Manchester United at odds of 2.0, but their odds should actually be 1.8. Our users, let's just say a lot of the time they're getting odds of 2 when the when the odds should be 1.9 or 1.8, something like that. This has been proven through our user results with an average ROI of 2.6% over 4 million trades thus far. But what I'm going to talk about today is something that's not really uh, embedded in statistics or anything like that. It's just a thought that I actually had a couple of years ago and I thought I would share this with all you today as to why TradeMate Sports has been so successful. The question that I want to pose today is, is TradeMate Sports hidden success or a hidden secret to their success, the fact that they're betting with professional sports bettors? It is a scam when you don't allow everyone to operate on fair terms. We are the Robin Hoods of sports betting. We take something back from the rich bookies and enable our customers to beat them instead. So how do professional sports bettors make money? Well, let's take the examples of Tony Bloom and Matthew Benham, who are professional sports bettors, but they also own betting syndicates or run betting syndicates uh, called Star Lizard and Smart Odds, respectively. So these syndicates employ hundreds of people and, and their sole job is to create models, you know, these complex statistical models uh, which which spit out the the I guess their version of what the odds should be on a game. So let's just take an example. Let's say as I said before, Manchester United versus Liverpool. Manchester United's odds on the bookmakers or the Asian bookmakers where where pro sports betters bet as they can get more money down. Let's just say their odds for Man United are two but their model says that it should actually be 1.95. So essentially what they will do then is take those two in odds all the way down to 1.95 and bet everything above that basically. Maybe to, you know, maybe 1.97 or 1.98, something like that. But what they're, what they're doing essentially is they're, they're getting that little bit of value, should be two, but it's actually, sorry, it should be 1.95 but it's at two at the moment. So they're just gonna bet that number down into the spot that they want. And you know that's their way of finding value. So because they're betting so much money on the game, millions of dollars in some cases, or thousands of dollars, the, the line will move. So it'll go from two down to a certain number, maybe below 1.95. And, and what that does now is it creates a completely different, a completely different market where both teams are essentially a different price. Unlike you and me, probably we're not putting that kind of money down that's gonna gonna move the market. So when the market does move, it means someone with a decent amount of coin, especially in the Premier League, like a huge market like the Premier League or you know any other big European league, it's gonna take a lot of money to move that price. So how does this affect TradeMate users who I mentioned at the start of the video? Well, as any user that's used our platform before, or maybe you're just slightly familiar with it, the only reason people get alerts to bet on something is because the market has shifted, but a soft bookmaker like Bet365 or Ladbrokes or Unibet, something like that, has taken too long to change their odds. So when Tony Bloom puts all his money on Manchester United, the odds will drop, but Bet365 will take too long. So they'll get that alert, and then you can go and place that trade on bet365 so the whole point of my argument is saying well trade mates obviously successful because it's placing plus ev trades and getting value on the sports betting market but also we're kind of betting on the same things as professional sports better i think a lot of the time and i have absolutely no facts to back back this up at all it's just a, an opinion that i had a couple of years ago um, and i still hold that firmly is that you know when when trade mate users get an alert for a trade, it's because a lot of money has been put down on something. And most of the time, that's because it's coming from a professional sports better. So I think it's just a fun thing to highlight to everyone that, yeah, not only are you placing plus EV trades, but a lot of the time, I think you're going to be on the smart money side. You're going to be with the, the biggest and, and best betting syndicates in the world uh, and taking similar positions to them. So I think that's like a little reason, not the whole reason, obviously, but just a little, uh, I guess, niche reason 
why Trade Mate Sports has been so successful over such a long period of time. Would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this topic that I've raised raised today too. If you disagree with me, feel free to comment. If you agree with me, give it a thumbs up. Send in your comments like I've just mentioned and uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you soon.